Imagine a world where your greatest fears become reality. Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. underestimate me and they think that I'm weak but inside I'm a tiger and I'm gonna be ferocious and I'm gonna stick to my guns and I'm gonna play it as hard as I can this is a game and that's what it's about the main key of the competition is your mental attitude if you walk in with that cocky arrogant attitude like I'm the best person out here you've got half the battle of it won if I don't have that attitude, I might as well go home before we even start. I have six brothers. I've always been competing with guys. You know, I go rock climbing all the time. I'm a ski bum. I live out of my Jeep. I can pee outside anywhere. But I'm not one of the girls. I don't know how to be one of the girls. My wife is pregnant with my little boy, and that's my motivation for being here. I'm looking forward to the day when he learns that his dad was a former Fear Factor champion. I want to show him that he can achieve anything if he puts his mind to it. My father's a police officer and he's been in the military forever. He's always treated me just like a son or a guy. He was my coach, so he always pushed me the hardest to be the best at everything that I did. I just really want to prove that I can bring home the trophy and be an intense competitor. I compete in natural bodybuilding competitions, and that's just an extension of my competitive nature. I wrestled all through high school, I pole vaulted, I swam, I dove. My main objective is to beat everybody else in this competition. I'm here to win Fear Factor. How you, How doing? you doing? Nice to meet you. You too. What's up? How you guys doing? Good. All right, let's we're go. good. Yep. Ready to get this thing started? Yeah. yeah. All let's right. go. Well, the six of you have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. To win the money, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts, stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you're too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you'll move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. I like that. Ready to see your first stunt? Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's go. All right, here it is. You will each be handcuffed and sealed in that water sack. You will then be lifted over the tank and dropped into the cold water, sinking to the bottom. The four of you that can free yourself from the handcuffs, unzip the bag, and release the flag the fastest will move on to the next round. The other two will be eliminated. 
And we have randomly selected today's order. And Rachel, you are lucky number one. So lucky. So lucky. So lucky. <laughs> How are you at holding your breath? Not very good. <laughs> I didn't want to be first. It was the water. Why? What's wrong? I, I have terrible lung capacity and I freak That's out so? in water. Well, you better pull it together, sister. This is it. <laughs> I know. I hope are you I ready? can. Yeah. Come on, I'm let's ready. do it. Step up. Okay. So what is this crazy stuff I hear about you liking to sleep in your Jeep? So I'm a snowboard bum. I can't afford to actually have an apartment, so I just park my Jeep wherever and hitch up in the morning. So you're like homeless? Yes. And I'm a homeless girl. You can afford to go snowboarding, but you can't afford an apartment? That's crazy priorities, kid. You're no, a little maniac. It's all about having fun. What are you going to do if you win? What are you going to do with the money? Then I'm going to buy a piece of land so I can park my Jeep. So. You're going to buy a piece of land to park your Jeep? <laughs> yes. That is a very unique answer. That's That's got to be a fear factor first. All right, Rachel, let's get you into your bathing right. suit. Come on. Go. You ever been caught before? No. Yes. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Climb on in. Okay, here's your key. Let's go now. Oh, Rachel. And remember, folks at home, do not try this. This is very dangerous. As soon as you get dropped in that water, it locks around you like saran wrap. All the pressure from the water closes the bag in around you, and it doesn't equalize until you're fully submerged. It's a freaky thing. All right, how do you guys think she's going to do? I think she's a little bit nervous, a little bit pensive, but uh, she'll do all right. She's a rockin' snowboarder chick, man. She can do it. <laughs> you guys don't know how hard this is, do you? Rachel, the time starts when I say go. The time stops when you grab the flag. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. The pressure caves in around her. And it's just like saran wrap. The whole key right now is her staying calm and working the lock. Stuck it right in, clicked it, pushed the handcuff off. It was off right away. Put my hands at the top, trying to feel around to see if I could find the zipper. And I couldn't find it, and I just started freaking out. Rachel, you did really good, but you just couldn't find that zipper. The zipper was like, it, the whole bag is red. You know, the little red tag you gotta find, and it should make it like break It's actually out. right in front of your face. It was 39 seconds when you quit. Okay. You did a great job unlocking yourself, and you just couldn't find that zipper. So unfortunately, we have to get rid of you. Good luck finding a patch of land to <laughs> park your Jeep on. No problem. It's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Take too. Take it easy. All right. Good luck. All right. Thank you. It's a hard, hard stunt to pull off. Oh, it might look easy, but once you get in there, it messes with your mind. You know, I just couldn't handle it. Is anybody nervous now? Hell yeah. <laughs> I feel definitely better about doing yeah. it when somebody else gets it. How do you feel about it, Dwayne? I just talk to the bag and say, bag, take care of me. You better talk to the keys and the zipper, too. Sean, do you think perhaps your belt buckle might weigh you down? <laughs> I, I, I don't plan on having that on. You don't? 
Did you like have to ride a bull to get that bundle? Yeah. I think you probably could have just bought it and skipped the whole <laughs> bull thing. How many times have you ridden bulls? Uh, 10 years. So how many bulls do you think all together? Uh, at least 60, 70 a year. 60, 70 bulls, bulls. a year for 10 years. Damn! <laughs> All right, Aaron, come on over, man. Come on, Aaron. Go for it. Yeah. So what do you do for a living, man? I'm a personal trainer. Do you do bodybuilding? A little okay. bit, yeah, yeah, natural bodybuilding. And you compete in uh -huh. a lot of tournaments? Uh, sure, probably about two or three a year. Rachel ran out of air in 39 seconds. That's what she had to fail. Right. How much time is going to take you to unlock your handcuff, unzip yourself from the bag, swim over, and release the flag? You know, last time I tried this, it took me a little longer than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. 30 seconds, 30 35 seconds. seconds. If it goes any prediction. longer than that, yeah. All right, you ready to do this? I'm ready. Okay, let's get you in your bathing suit. Let's go. Chain you up, and we'll do it. be handcuffed and sealed in that water sack. You will then be lifted over the tank and dropped into the cold water, sinking to the bottom. The four of you that can free yourself from the handcuffs, unzip the bag, and release the flag the fastest will move on to the next round. All right, Ann, here we go. Are you ready? I used to have asthma as a child, and the thought of not being able to breathe definitely freaks me out. Go! Trying to get the key in the cuff. He's moving around a lot. He's falling over. He's quitting. This is simple. 27 seconds. I did not expect that. No. It looks like you were thrashing around like crazy. You moved the bag all the way from the center. See where it is? It's almost at the edge. Did you freak out? You know what? I do not have enough air, and uh, I'm not fine in this hole. So. You ran out of air at 27 seconds. What can I say? Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice Sorry. meeting you. That's Take okay. it easy, man. Good luck, guys. All right. Thank you. Bye. The fact that I choked and panicked in front of national television, it's embarrassing. I can't believe I didn't do this. Melody, are you nervous about this? No, I've always been wet when I've been in handcuffs, so I'm used to it. <laughs> okay, come on up. How good are you with water? I used to swim for some team. So you're in reasonably good shape? I dance to Britney Spears sometimes in the mirror. Uh, I don't know if that helps. <laughs> Does anybody complain about that? Yeah, my husband. How long have you been married? Four years. How old are you? I'm 22. So you've been married since you're 18? Yes. Wow. And are you doing this for him? Is that your motivation? We want to go on our first honeymoon. We've never your had first, a honeymoon. You've never had a honeymoon? That's crazy. You got married at 18 and you didn't have enough money for a honeymoon? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, since we've had two people eliminated already, all you four need to do is complete it. All right, let's get you in your swimsuit. What do you guys think? How's she going to do? If she talks as much in her head as she does out loud, she'd be able to talk herself through it. <laughs> I think she's going to try to talk while she's down there, and she's going to breathe in some water. <laughs> I have confidence in her. I think she'll learn from the other people's mistakes and do yeah. okay. We will soon find out. Time is not an issue here. All you have to do is get through it. In three, two, one, go! Right, she's had the opportunity to watch 
has two people screw up and right. see if she learns from them. She's fighting the back. She's already got She wasn't down there long at all. I know, man. How many seconds with that, man? When it didn't open up right away, I felt like you almost felt so alone. Like nobody in the world like, could see me and, I don't know, freaked me out. Pretty bad. I hate even talking about it. Melody, you panicked. No, I, I was calm at first and I waited and I waited and I go, when is it going to like equal out and it didn't equal out and like right when I went like this it equaled out and I was like oh but I just waited a little bit how do you think these guys are gonna do I mean I hope you guys all disqualify and then you know we can do this again but <laughs> you have to wait a long time all right Melody well I'm sorry take it easy it was nice you. meeting you no it's nice meeting you bye bye okay bye nothing in the world no money no nothing was worth that I could care less if I had a second and third chance. I don't care. Nothing was worth that. Not looking too good, is it? Nah. <laughs> it looking good at all, man. Nah. This is a very doable stunt. You stay calm, and it's all you. Now, John, if anybody could stay calm, a dude who rides 70 bulls a year should be able to pull this off. Time to cowboy up. Cow That's what I'm talking about, dude. Come on, step up. All you have to do is get through the stunt. Yeah, I don't care if I come in dead last on time. As long as I'm <laughs> touching that flag, I'm happy. All right, man. Let's get you in the swimming suit. Cowboy up, baby. That's it, Is that man. your motto? That's my motto. It is a pretty cool saying. Yeah. What does cowboy up mean exactly? Cowboy up is when you're broken up, beaten up, and you can't go no more. You reach down and you find that extra little bit of energy to get you through. Cowboy up. You cowboy up and pull yourself through the impossible. You hear that? That's cowboy inspirational. Up. I know, that's right. I'm rooting for you now, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Calm. Just waiting for it to equalize. I think he's, he'll do that well. He's just a smoker, it together. so hopefully his lung capacity will be okay. He's being very calm. He's working his hands. He's not thrashing like all the others. He's working the key right now. Looks like he's going to do it. He's gonna do it. It's been a long time. Ah, oh, he quit too. Man. It's just, it's like another world down there. You can't see anything. It is cold down there. I had the key on the wrong side of the lock. Unfortunately, John, you did not cowboy up. Happens every now and then. Well, I'm going to send you out of here. But it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Take it easy. Good luck, guys. It's the worst emotion you could ever go through, knowing that you could have done better and that you were the only reason that you failed. The only thing I can hope for is that the other two fail and I can give another shot at it tomorrow and maybe redeem myself. This just turned out to be a whole lot harder than you guys thought, Yeah. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of people went off. And the good news is, if the two of you make it through, the two of you are going to battle it out for $50,000. If only one of you can complete this, that one person is going to win $25,000 right here, right now. Then everyone else comes back, and they compete for the remaining $25,000. All right, Stacey, you ready? I'm ready. Step on I'm up. I'm ready. Now.
Now, I understand that you are from Alaska. Correct. Some used to cold water. I also understand that you have an experience of falling through the ice. I had one incident where I actually fell off the snowmobile and fell into the ice. How long were you in the water for? About a good 35, 40 seconds. And you were under the ice? Yep, I was completely under. Whoa. Yeah. All you have to do is get the key in the lock, open it up, stay calm, find the zipper, pull it down, and, and you're in. And all you have to do is hope that he screws up, <laughs> and you win $25,000. That's right. All right, let's get you in your swimsuit. Show them what you got, Stacy. You can do this. Remember the time starts when I say go. The time stops as soon as you pull the flag. It's all you, kid. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. I think she took a breath right where she was going in. It's all you, kid. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Ooh, I think she took a breath right when she was going in. She's looking calm, just waiting for her to equalize. You're thinking about so many things going through your mind. I was losing track of holding my breath, and so I inhaled water, and that's when I kind of freaked out. She quit. Wow. Man. 29 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy, what happened? I was totally there when I got down to the water. Like, I was fine. Didn't even feel cold when I hit it. Really? Like, I was like, this is totally doable. Unfortunately, it was not doable. The good news is you get to come back with everybody else. Sounds good. Take Thank you. This is kind of my demon and that in order for me to conquer it, I was going to hit the water and do it. It's just disappointing, especially since I thought I had it. It is down to you. Since everyone else has failed, all you have to do is complete this stunt you will win $25,000, then everyone else gets to come back and compete for the remaining $25,000. What's your motivation? Uh, my son, man. Your son? Yeah. How old is your son? Well, he's not born yet. He's not born yet? No. We already you named him. Yet? What's yeah. his name? Tyler. You want to do it for your son? Yeah. You want to keep it together, right? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm pumped, man. You ready to win yourself 25 hey, man. man? I'm ready to win this. All right, dude, let's do it. All let's right. get you in your swimming <laughs> suit. You are the only one to pull off this stunt. Hey, so man. you win $25,000. Let's go get everybody else and see what tomorrow's in store for you. All right, man.
just winning $25,000 is not enough. The priority right now is finishing up and getting to the final stunt and winning the whole deal. I want it all. Dwayne has already proven to us that he can do all the things that we weren't able to do yesterday. And so he's the one that's standing between me and $25,000. Everybody has their day, and last night wasn't my night. Tonight, I've got that second win, and I've got a lot more to prove. It's time to cowboy up, suck it up, and take care of business. Dwayne, he had a lucky break yesterday going last. He heard every single one of us give him a tip coming out. Any one of us could have won that if we went last. It's a new game tonight. I'm erasing what happened on that last challenge out of my mind. Once the cameras start rolling and we get into this stunt, it's all business. I'm the only person besides Dwayne that got the handcuffs off. Everyone else didn't even do that. Dwayne's got half my money, I want the other half. Welcome back. <laughs> the six of you competed yesterday in the water sack, but only Dwayne was able to complete the stunt. In doing so, Dwayne has won $25,000. Congratulations, Dwayne. Thank you. I it. <laughs> and the rest of you have returned to compete with him for the remaining $25,000. Here is your next stunt. These boxes are filled with night crawlers, millipedes, and hissing cockroaches. While hanging upside down, you will have to sort the millipedes and the cockroaches using only your mouth. This is a head-to-head -head competition, so the person who sorts the least amount each round is going home. And we have randomly selected today's order, and the first pair is Stacy and Melody. You guys ready? We're ready. All right, ladies, come on. Rock and roll. You don't seem too enthusiastic about no, this. No, but hey, you know, no. roaches are my best friend. No, you seem like you're a little bummed out about this. Well, I grew up in Alaska. We don't have things that have more than, like, two legs there. So what about you? You don't seem to be bothered by this? No, they're in my house all the time. Where do you live? <laughs> it. Vegas. This is how big our roaches are. Really? Yeah, and I just always, I don't kill them. I catch them, and I put them outside. So it's, it's okay to kill a roach as long as you're getting paid? Yeah, basically. All right, you ready, ladies? Ready. Do it. Are you ready? All right, let's get you guys harnessed up. Rachel, who's going to win? Stacy already told us she doesn't like bugs, and if we had to eat something, she wouldn't be able to do it if she had to put it in her mouth. So Melody's a little more crazy. I think she'll do it. All right, hoist them up. All right, ladies, you have 90 seconds. Millipedes are going to go on your right-hand side. The other side is going to be the roaches. One of you is going home today. Don't let it be you. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. In three, two, one, go. Uh, Melody is much more down with this. She was already on top of it before oh, she even... Come on, Melody. Stacy's barely pulling Stacey through this. going to do it. Come on, Stacy. I can't. I can't even reach up. Let's go. Come, Come on. Come on. Take me down. Stacy, are you quitting? Yeah. That's it. Let her down. She quit. As soon as I saw that first cockroach, I was just thinking, I'm done. I'm done. And then plus you can hear him hissing in your ear every time you got close to him. And it just smelled like the worst thing that you could possibly even imagine. Melody, you got lucky because Stacy's a big quitter. What happened? I'm not down with this live stuff. I'm you not. big chicken. That's all right. Hey. Bye, Stacy. All right. Nice meeting you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. I'm disappointed with the fact that I couldn't mentally get past it. I wish that I was going home under different circumstances, but you know what? I didn't have to touch a cockroach and spit him into a bucket, so that's okay.
All right, Melody, congratulations and welcome to the final. Thank you. All right, Rachel and John, come on over. What's this, boys or dogs? What is this? You can't generalize like that. Sure I can. Girls are evil. You didn't think that was weak with Stacey? Well, I didn't expect her to win anyway. She got her nose dirty. She's like, oh, oh, I can't reach. Oh, 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 oh. That was just weak. Now, I understand that you've actually lost quite a few teeth. Yeah. Which ones? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> One of you guys is going home right now. You know that, right? It ain't me. Who's it gonna be? Him. Are you Cowboy. sure? Yeah, Cowboy's going down. I think I can just do it faster than he can. Why is he that? might be a little hesitant. This guy does not want the guy who's gonna be hesitant to get his face dirty. <laughs> <No. laughs> Alright, let's get you guys harnessed up. Alright, guys. Philippines are gonna go on your right hand side. Roaches are gonna go on your left. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Grab those millipedes. Come on! In three, two, one, go! Oh my god. The smell was almost unbearable. All the mixture of worm crap, bug crap, millipede crap was just horrible. And the taste the millipedes gave off was this awful spicy flavor. It was like the nastiest Cajun food you could ever eat. Rachel, he's way yeah, ahead of you. got to go crazy, kid. Come on. Come on, Rachel. You're doing great, Get John. Get your teeth, girl. Rachel, he's burying his face right in there and gone. That's it. it just grab him. John, Don't be scared of him. Get in there. That's it, there you go. Come on, you can still catch him. Come on, Rachel. Good job, let's go. Go, go. Spit it out. John, the roaches are on your left. No people are on your right. Oh, John, you're blazing. Time! Woo! How was it, Rachel? disgusting dude was it? it was so nasty when they started like crawling in my mouth like they were holding on i had to spit them out i was gross it wasn't that bad i mean i've had worse yeah. what have you had this worse than that <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in the rodeo or any you don't want in your mouth oh a cow patty yeah good job to both of you all right we're gonna start with you john you got 13 roaches and 12 millipedes for a total of 25 and Rachel, five millipedes and 16 roaches for a total of 21. Rachel, it was a valiant effort. It was very close. But unfortunately, John got a few more than you. So that's it. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. good. That was awesome. Right. Good. Thanks, see you guys. Bye. All right, yeah, all right. Taking home the money would have been nice, but for me, the worst part is not being able to try the third stunt. You know, I'm just glad I didn't chicken out like Stacy and go home, not even putting my head in the bucket. All right, guys, this is it. Last yeah. two. That's it. Dwayne, you're already ahead of the game. You already have $25,000. dollars I, I would be greedy, too, if I was you. Aaron? Miserable yesterday, Joe. Miserable, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Well, you got but a hey, reprieve from the governor. Let's Are you go. ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's get your harness. You have 90 seconds. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Come on, Aaron. Get down in there, Dwayne. Oh, Come on. Yeah. There you go, Dwayne. Come on. Oh, Aaron's, oh, Aaron's come on, flying. Aaron, Dwayne, you got to speed up. Come on, Dwayne. Aaron's flying for you. Come on, get down there. Hey, suck it up. Use those muscles. Come on. There you go. Uh oh. Wayne's getting angry. He sounds like a dog in there. He's, he's making dog noises. Don't give up. Come on, Aaron. It's okay. Get it. 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 Come on. You got to pick your spot. There you go. Get a second win. 
Just grab a whole bunch. Just spend your money, Dwayne. Come on, man. It's your money. Look. Come on, Aaron. There you go. Come on, man. It's your money. That's it. Come on. Come on, Dwayne. Come on, Aaron. You got to blaze through this. Do it. Yeah, there you go. Use your eyes. Come on. Come on, Dwayne. Keep it going. Go, go, go. They're, you they're find buried them? in there. So good. I can't believe though. you were doing that. What about you, Dwight? Man, it's the shell it felt the same. I mean, well, it looks pretty close. So, why don't you guys go over to the line and we'll count. We'll see what the deal is here. Aaron, you have six millipedes. And then we got 14 roaches for a total of 20. All right, Dwayne, you need 21. Give 18, me my money, 19, man. Give me 20, my money. and 21. I'm greedy, baby. Which makes for 25. Aaron. Sorry, Joe. buddy. Thanks, bro. Nice meeting you, though. You too. Take, Take it care. easy. Dwayne was a non factor. It just so happened that he got more bugs, so he's moving on, and I am going home. And that sucks. And then there were three. That's it. Congratulations. And now we will move on to tomorrow in the finals and compete for the remaining $25,000 of Dwayne's money. Let's get out of here and see what tomorrow has in store for you. Come on. There's no way I'm gonna let the snag a two cowboy and the motor mouth Barbie doll take my 25,000. I already got my deposit on the first day and I'm coming for the rest today. This isn't fake, this is the real deal and I'm gonna have to come out here and just go balls to the wall and let it all hang out and give it everything I've got. people aren't expecting anything because it'll be a surprise in the end. I'm going to be the comeback kid and no one's going to expect the win from me today. This is it. Welcome to the finals. Well, so far you guys have been handcuffed and put in a sack and thrown into water. You've had a mouthful of roaches and millipedes. And Dwayne has already won $25,000 by being the only person to successfully complete the first stunt. Today, the three of you are competing for the remaining $25,000 and the title of Fear Factor Champion. Here is your final stunt. Guys, I'm so cool. I'm here with it. Here is your final stunt. As that structure rotates, you will have to navigate your way around the three-inch ledge, collecting flags along the way. Whoever collects the final flag the fastest is going to walk away with the remaining $25,000. <laughs> and we have randomly selected today's order, and John, you are lucky number one. You ready, cowboy? Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> All right, John, you're up first. Do you feel like this is a good event for you? Because you must have good balance being a bull rider. Between the balance and plus the bull moves and I move with the bull is this move. I'm going to try to be a part of it and move with it. I don't think the whole spinning thing is going to be good for him. Yeah, but he's been riding bulls and stuff like that. You know, bull block and everything. Yeah, but that's like a two-second thing. He's got to actually maneuver all the way uh, through this. You got this scar from bull riding? Yeah, I dislocated my shoulder one year about 16, 17 times and finally had to have it rebuilt. Now, how do you do that? You just kept falling on the same um, shoulder? Well, the first time I come down and took a horn under my arm and it just kind of pushed it uh, up out of place and behind my neck. So I just pop it back in myself and get on another one. I don't think you're going to do too good. <laughs> you just want me to lose. You're not winning my money. You're so light. You're going to blow away. No, I got a booty. You got a butt. I got a butt, so stop. You got a butt. Yeah, it's back there. It's back. 
Whatever. I'm <laughs> you ready to do this, my uh, I'm ready to do it, man. I'm going to bow up like a cut worm on this one. You're going to what? Bow up like a cut worm on a cabbage leaf. All right. If I ever get to Louisiana, explain <laughs> that to me. Uh, I'll do All it. All right. All right, bro. Good luck. Appreciate it. All right, John is not worried about you, and he's a little worried about you. See, he doesn't have his hat, his boots, his belt. He's out of his element. All right, John, here we go. Time starts when I say go. Time stops, and you grab the final flag in three, two, one. Three inch wide ledge. He's creeping along kind of slow here. I thought he'd be moving a little faster than this. He's not used to tennis shoes, that's one thing for sure. He's got one flag. That's a big turn right there. There we go. That thing's turning fast. You gotta concentrate on what's in front of you. Don't ever look down at this thing. Concentrate only on the bars. That's number two, six left! Come on, John. John. You gotta pick come up on, the pace, on, buddy! On. That's three! Five flags to go! He, he's grunting and groaning. Four more flags to go! Come on, John! Cowboy up! Let's do it! Right now, it's about peak speed. But from the beginning to now, it, it speeds up a little. Oh, man. Come on, John, you gotta pick up the pace. They're gonna beat you easy. Come on, John. You gotta move quicker. Push yourself. Them Hicks would not be proud of you. Cowboy's gonna laugh at you! That's five! He doesn't have any endurance. He's no. used to working for eight seconds at a time. That's it. This is the last flag! One second! Could mean $25,000! Move! Ah! Three minutes and 58 seconds. Dude. It was totally awkward. Everything about it was wrong feeling. You couldn't get a good grip. It felt like I was going to fall every time I tried to speed up, so I was just having to go too slow. How you doing? Oh, man, my forearms are killing me right yeah? now. Yeah? Come on, man. You hang on to bulls. What's up? Bulls? Yeah, I don't hang on to them that long. Eight though. seconds. That's what it is. Eight seconds, I'm out of there. Well, you did complete it, okay? But you made it in three minutes, 58 seconds, which is a long time. Yeah. All right, you ready, Melody? I'm ready. Come on, okay, let's do it. All right, Melody, three minutes, 58 seconds. You think you can do that? Yes, two minutes. What makes you think you can do it so much faster than that? He was talking about forearms and yeah. a cocktail, and that all that is is forearms. So if you win the $25,000, you'll say you owe it all to cocktailing? Yes, exactly. That was your training? Yeah. So you're the only one I'm worried about, and I think that ain't going to be a problem after going up there seeing what it's like. <laughs> I'm glad you think that, though, but, man, I'm going home with the 25, uh, okay. okay? I'm well, going home with the 25, man. That's, that's yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, we're both from Louisiana. You're supposed to share, you know? I ain't sharing nothing, man. I'm from New Orleans. You're from Monroe. You ready? I'm ready. Good luck. Thank you. You lost a toe, too, to a horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see that, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> what else has happened to you? Last year, I got seven <laughs> stitches up here. I'm not going to look down. I'm not going to concentrate on the spinning or anything. I'm just going to grab my flags and take my money and go home. All right, Melody, are you ready? Ready! The time begins when I say go! Stops and you grab the final flag. Time to beat is 3:22.
three minutes, 58 seconds. Here we go in three, two, one, go. It's a long way down. Don't be looking at it. How are you going to fall? I see those toes. She's moving a little quicker than you, bro. And you know what? Here's one advantage that she has. She's shorter. So when she's grabbing it, she's grabbing higher. So she's closer to the wall. You do it right now. She's picking up speed. Rough, tough bull rider, and she's in better shape than you. <laughs> Come on, Melody, keep it up! Two more flags! Oh, she's going to get her feet. I know you're getting tired. Won't you just quit and give yourself a break? Her little feet fit pretty nice on that little tiny three inch ledge. She's got like half of her foot on that thing. Seconds. She got you by one minute. I just got my ass kicked. kicked by a girl. Well, yeah. I hope you had a good time anyway. Well, I had a good time. But well, it was nice meeting you, man. We're going to send you packing. Take it easy. All right, man. Good luck, man. Cowboy up, baby. Damn. Not only did I lose, but I got showed up bad by a girl. It made me feel like I shouldn't have even been competing. This will be one that I won't forget. Two minutes and 58 seconds. Congratulations. <laughs> you sent the cowboy home. Do you know how much crap he's going to take around the bull riding oh, ring? Man. Getting sent home by a girl? You beat him by a solid minute. Two minutes, 58 oh. seconds. Now, do you think that you have a lot less pressure because you're already 125 grand? No, it's a, it's a lot more pressure for you. More pressure? Really? I don't want the title for a the champion. This is your evil hex, Dwayne! Falling dust! All right, Dwayne, are you ready? No! The time to beat is 2 minutes and 58 seconds! Here we go, in three, two, one, go! You already have money, go home! He's moving fairly quickly. He missed a flag! He missed a flag! Wayne, you missed the flag! You gotta go back and get it! This is huge. <laughs> this might be it, kid. This could be a $25,000 mistake. How can he do that? You gotta blaze now. Go. Come on, Dwayne. You gotta make up time. He's giving it to you here. Come on, Dwayne. You gotta blaze. Go, go, go. Supply again. Three, five, left to go! One minute in! Come on, Dwayne, you gotta move! Four more flags to go! Let's screw up again. Minute and a half in! That's it.
the Russians and the Philippines in your mouth. You got the fastest time on this, and you are our fear factor champion. Congratulations. All right, and evidently, fear is not a factor. Continues next, only on Scylla. Hi, I'm TV's Tracy Morgan of Scare Tactics. I've got big news. Stuff's about to get a lot crazier. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> that was rough. And damn. Scare Tactics, back-to-back episodes tomorrow starting at 8 on Schiller. <laughs>